She's the brazen Mexican-born American actress. La vida es un negocio. Lo único que cambia es la mercancía. Kate Del Castillo, whose fame turned to infamy after her secret rendezvous with one of the world's most wanted drug kingpins, Joaquin Guzman, known as El Chapo. She's known for being fearless. I'm not afraid, and I'm not afraid of any cartel people or the Mexican government or Sean Penn. <laughs> but on that night, with the notorious drug lord, even she admits she might have been in over her head. Del Castillo says it all began back in 2012 after she sent a firestorm of controversial tweets. Today, I believe more in El Chapo Guzman than I do in the governments that hide truths from me. I had no idea it was going to go viral. And next day, I couldn't believe the turmoil that happened. Eventually, Guzman's lawyers reached out to her and asked if she'd be interested in producing a film about his life. The actress and the drug lord began texting. It looks like a bit of a seduction. Oh my God, that's, they said I had a relationship with the guy. This mass media lynching was that, it's sexualizing the whole thing. Did you have a relationship with El Chapo? Oh my God, not at all. No, 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 it was just business. He reached out to me, he wanted to give me his story life uh, rights, and, and that was it. That's when Hollywood A-lister Sean Penn asks if she'd bring him along. He's a, an amazing actor. I am a big fan of his work. I have a Hollywood actor, a Hollywood uh, producer with me. Nothing's going to happen. For me, it was feeling, you know, protected. Protected in a way. La primera vez que tuve contacto directamente con el Chapo, iba yo asustadísima. In the three-part docu-series, The Day I Met El Chapo, she retraces her cloak and dagger journey. No sabíamos nada, no sabíamos qué iba a pasar, no sabíamos a dónde íbamos a ir. To meet the man who'd escaped from two Mexican prisons. So he opens the door for me, and, uh, and he hugged me. And he said, hola, amiga. But he was smiling the entire time. He was so happy, and he was so relaxed. I mean, he's been accused of kidnapping and torture and murder. Oh, yeah. But he struck you as gentle. Whatever I think about him in person, it's, it's irrelevant, because I don't want to take away who he is. I can tell you how he treated me in person, he was a gentleman with me. And so after a night of drinking and talking, El Chapo decides to escort you to your room. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he did that? I think he wanted to have, have probably just two minutes with me by himself and to be, you know, a gentleman. And I said, you know, because it was my only opportunity. Let's not forget what I originally tweeted. Let's do some good. You must have been afraid. Yes. What were you afraid of? Well, he, he might break me. Of course. Yes. Or kill me. Did you feel like you'd put your life in his hands? Totally. Totally. And I think he also did that because he trusted me with his life. He's a fugitive. She says that while on that trip, she realized the Oscar-winning actor had his own agenda. When did you first realize that Sean Penn was doing it, an interview? Right there. Right there. On <laughs> right the spot? In, right there. He said, uh, tell him if I can interview him. The look on your face suggests... I, I was daggered. I, I, I was like, what the hell? And for the first time, she makes a startling claim about Sean Penn. We were good friends, and we laughed a lot, and, but we were working. But you admit in the documentary that you fell for him. Well, I, I, I don't remember what I said and why and the circumstances, but I never fell for him. We had sex. <laughs> OK. Sorry, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's just, <laughs> we are both adults, single, and w w something was going on, but that was it. Mm -hmm. And every, it was business. And so there was sex, but there wasn't a relationship in no. your mind? No. No. I, because I, sometimes I think like a man. So, yes, it, sex is just sex. I'm, and, and why wait until now? Because nobody asked me. They were all so, it was so stupid. They were all thinking that I had something to do with El Chapo, and nobody asked me. Regardless of their relationship, just three months after the meeting and days before Penn published his story in Rolling Stone, El Chapo was apprehended. The Mexican government saying, we caught him, and it was thanks like to her. Like, exactly. Uh, it was a moment in my life that I will never forget. Uh, I was so scared and, and angry at the same time. You're still upset thinking about it right now. I'm, I'm, I am. I am. It's been two, two years now that my life's been uh, put on hold, basically. What is the truth? That I had nothing to do with him getting caught. 
nothing to do, I don't work for the government, I have nothing to do with the government, and I am just interested in my career and trying to do a good story, and that was it. Now the Netflix docu-series causing new controversy, a spokesperson for Sean Penn alleging that the film implicates Penn in Guzman's arrest, something that they strongly deny. The notion, a complete fabrication and bald-faced lie. He has seen this documentary and in Variety was quoted as saying that there are profound inaccuracies. What's your reaction to that? Well, I said the same thing about his article. So he has probably a point of view. I have another point of view. He lived the whole experience in a way and I lived in another way. A spokesperson for Penn saying this is nothing but a cheap National Enquirer-esque tale spun by a delusional person whose hunger for fame is both tawdry and transparent. Netflix told ABC News he was given the opportunity on multiple occasions to participate in The Day I Met El Chapo and did not do so. This series gives Kate a chance to finally tell her side of this stranger-than-fiction story. This past January, El Chapo was extradited to the U.S. He's now awaiting trial on multiple charges related to alleged drug crimes and faces life in prison. As for Castillo, she's still hoping to create a movie on Guzman's life. How has this changed your career, if not your life? Uh, well, I lost a lot of uh, jobs, a lot of contracts that I had. You were a respecter. Yes. And, uh, but after two years now, I think um, it's, it's better. Now, you can see I'm, I'm innocent, and uh, they, they investigated the hell out of me. <laughs> so now they know I'm innocent, and it was just a, a it was just... A bad decision, probably. Sean Penn's spokesperson says Ms. Del Castillo participated in the fact-checking of his Rolling Stone piece. The Day I Met El Chapo is streaming now on Netflix. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.